Sci-Fi Invasion. I'm your host, Joey Hollywood, and I'm trying to get through all 50 movies in this Sci-Fi Classic box set from Mill Creek in 50 weeks. The movie I watched today was Hercules and the Captive Women. Watched last week. I've already gone through my whole little rant about how I don't care much for Hercules movies, with some exceptions, you can see behind me. Uh, that's a little set dressing. You know, that would make this one a little bit more visually interesting. Not a fan of Hercules movies, but let's give this one a go. Uh, it took a lot of notes because the Hercules movies are very similar. Actually, I didn't mention this with the last one. The last movie ended with uh, the city breaking apart. <laughs> he just bit my chin. Because that, that's a running theme in Hercules movies. This one got me a little excited off the bat. I, I don't hate Hercules movies, like the concept of a Hercules movie, I'll watch them. Um, I, I like, you know, stuff based on uh, Greek and Roman mythology. It, it's just the simple fact that Hercules movies seem to follow the same formula. I find it very tiring. It, they're padded, they're padded so much. And uh, this one gave me a little hope because the opening titles were, well, they, they seemed pretty visually interesting. They seemed like there was a little bit more money behind it. And this movie in general seemed like it had a little bit more money behind it than the last one I watched or some of the fare that's similar to this. However, it does follow that formula. It's, it's Hercules just kind of passively going through the whole movie and then there's a big cataclysm that's that happens and the, the city is destroyed by stock footage. You've seen one of these movies, you've seen them all. But let's talk about this one. What makes this one unique? Well, Hercules is a douchebag in this one. He sucks. He just lays there. He, he With all those muscles, all he does is he lays around and makes other people do work for him. And it, it, it's not good when the hero of your movie comes across like an aloof jerk <laughs> but that's the way they chose to depict him there are three characters four there okay there's hercules there's one of his buddies that he takes with him and then there's a midget and i think there's a stowaway although i kind of got confused because they they all kind of look the same like hercules at least i could tell him apart because he was like wearing hardly anything but yeah, a lot of the people on this look really similar, but yeah, he goes to... They're on the boat, and there's a stowaway on the boat that Her I think it's Hercules' son. And Hercules is just, like, making everyone else do the work for him, including the midget, by the way, which is awful. But then the boat gets ripped in half, and Hercules doesn't know where all of his friends went, and he goes ashore of some island, and he finds a woman in a rock face and she's like trapped there and it's a horrifying thought but it's not <laughs> it's a horrifying thought to be like trapped in the rock and the rock slowly growing over you but this lady just seems annoyed that hercules is even around and from there he fights like a wizard of some kind who turns into turns into a like a big lizard and then a turkey and then a tiger and it turns into everything and then Hercules defeats it, of course, because that's it's a Hercules movie. He's just got to randomly stumble across monsters and fight them. There's a scene in this where Hercules is, like, pulling, like, this chain thing. And it's not very clear what's happening, but he's going to be, like, enclosed in, like, this spiky thing. And there's like it's, like, 13 minutes long of him, like, pulling this chain to stop it from doing it. And it's not intense at all. It's boring. Just like with most of these Hercules movies, uh, the movie ends with a city collapsing in on itself. I think it's actually Atlantis, which, you know, the moment you hear Atlantis, of course it's going to happen. <laughs> One thing that made this movie a little bit more fun is the god of Uranus is a big, plays a big part in this. And I wrote a couple quotes down. The secret of Uranus. The thrust of Uranus. The blood of Uranus. So you have those little gems spoken aloud in this movie, or should I say dubbed aloud? There is a weird looking albino guy in this movie, and I kept thinking like, why does that guy look so funny? And I realized way later in the movie that the reason why the albino guy looks so funny is because they were gonna pull a gag where there are gonna be multiple versions of him. 
and making him look so distinct and weird made it easier for them to hide the fact that it's several people playing the same guy. And, and you know, that's about it. I didn't enjoy this one. Someone else might. Someone, there, there's a group of people out there who like these crappy Hercules movies. I'm just not one of them. But uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you tune in next week where I complain about yet another Hercules movie. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. This movie's not a sci-fi movie. But it's in the sci-fi movie box set. Not a sci-fi movie. At all. But it's in the sci-fi movie box set. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Hopefully you'll come back and hear me complain about yet another Hercules movie. I'll see you then. Remember, please be kind and rewind.